modern motels to new towns. And where better to recapture the spirit of these ventures than at Stevenage, Hertfordshire, where in the town centre, known as phase one of the overall plan, we can see a few of the attractive innovations that might well be copied elsewhere. Apart from the improved design of commonplace sites like bus shelters, notice the refreshing absence of traffic congestion. That's because no vehicles are allowed in the shopping area, a blow to motorists, considerably softened, however, by the free parking facilities. In keeping with the no traffic regulations, tradesmen's deliveries are made out of sight at the rear of the shops, and the housewives themselves have only a short step to the covered shopping ways. Wherever one turns, the outlook is gay and eye-catching, and works of art like Fran Tobelsky's Joyride are much in evidence. So too are the continental style kiosks with their colorful posters. The designers and architects have gone all out for comfort and simplicity. For instance, there are no curbs to hamper prams or pedestrians. Street lighting is contemporary and effective and blends in with the strictly functional surroundings. One of the first things that strikes the visitor is the sense of spaciousness. There are no cramped back streets or narrow little windows overlooking blank brick walls, which are a common feature of far too many of our towns. You'll have already noticed how the rural look of Stevenage has been retained by leaving many of the original trees apparently growing out of the concrete. From the ornamental fountain in the main square rises the impressive clock tower. Here then is the design for living of the future, a town planned down to the last nail planned to be lived in and enjoyed by 80,000 of the citizens of tomorrow.